Hello, my name is Eve Shalom, and I am a dance movement therapist, board certified dance movement therapist. And I wanted to make a YouTube video uh, about a topic that is very close to my heart, um, which is how to heal psychosis um, in using body-mind connection and processing emotions. So if you struggle from psychosis, it was a great idea to go to a psychiatrist, get some antipsychotic medication so that you feel safe in your everyday life. Um, this, what I'm going to talk about, is the therapy aspect of working with psychosis and how to address it on a day-to-day -day basis as a practice, how to process hallucinations, how to understand them, how to connect to deeper parts of yourself, and, um, and digest and process emotions uh, that will continue to decrease the hallucinations or the paranoia or um, delusional thinking. So one thing that's important to know with, psycho with psychosis is that the body-mind connection gets thrown off through early trauma. This can be uh, mental, like this can be trauma of like a one-time event that happened. It can be chronic trauma. It can be relational trauma. Um, it can be trauma where uh, caregivers had a lot of repressed unconscious material of their own and passed that on to the children. So there's a lot of different ways that that can happen. But basically, there's become the dysfunction between the body and mind connection, and the body stops being sensed and felt uh, in an easily accessible way, in a, in a grounded, easily accessible way. And emotions are dampened or disconnected from. Um, so it sort of creates a short circuiting in the electrical system of the mind and the body. So what happens is the energy shoots up too much and there's too much energy in the mind and that starts to create the, the accelerated thinking or the um, delusions or hallucinations because the person has lost touch with their grounded emotional body self. So, so, there's, so understanding that that is one of the root issues that underlies a development of psychosis. Then the question is, what do you do about that? How do you work on that? So there's a lot of different embodiment techniques out there, becoming more grounded, centered, rooted in your physical body, doing practices like Qigong or Tai Chi, um, yoga can help. Um, a body work can help. Uh, but one thing to keep in mind that needs to come front and center with all the explorations is awareness of emotion and being able to allow yourself to register emotion, be able to understand what emotions you're feeling, and being able to manage the emotions so that they don't feel overwhelming. Um, something that can happen too is emotions can shift very rapidly from one to another to another. Um, and so being able to slow down that process for yourself so that you have time to register and understand each feeling as it happens. Um, so one thing that I found really helped was meditation. So I think that's essential for healing psychosis is a very acute awareness of the mind, understanding what's happening in your mind, um, being able to uh, accumulate tools through various ways of mind training so that you can make choices about how you're using your mind.